For myself and for clients, I love single limb exercises. It doesn't mean you have to do them all the time, but when you feel that squats or deadlifts or uh, pushes or pulls are out of balance or something's deviating or the hips are moving out of line or the shoulders are moving out of line, I tend to like to check out single limb exercises, whether they're single leg squats, because what you're doing is you're, you're assessing the difference in the strength between each side. And also you've got to consider when you're doing a single leg squat, your spine has got a rotation and your body reacts in a different way to each opposite side. So left side to right side is gonna be a completely different reaction. And you wanna make sure that your body functions equally on both sides so that when you're doing a double limb exercise, like a squat, for example, two leg squat, back squat, or whichever squat you wanna choose, that you're, you're priming the muscles in a centered and equal way so that you're, you're engaging all your strength wholly. You don't wanna be squatting from one leg or one hip more than the other and then finding out that you can't up or progress in your, in your one max rep or your 12 max rep or whatever it may be that you're working on. Um, I also like it for flexibility reasons as well as strength reasons. So at the moment I'm trying to work on a one arm pull up at the moment I'm just at the hanging process and I can feel differences between the shoulder joints and how they react to it. So it's a, a way of assessing the flexibility in your shoulder, the strength in each shoulder, and you can apply this to almost any exercise. You can do it with kettlebells for the snatch, you can do it in so many ways. It's a great way of addressing imbalances and actually making you stronger uh, in totality because you're working on each side individually.